Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. As soon as I hit the record button, an airplane came by. Could you guys even hear it? <laughs> it's overcast. It's uh, humid. Summer is summering. It did not drop below 70 degrees last night. I think the low was 73 or 74 degrees, but... I slept pretty well. I uh, took Benadryl for my little rash on my arm, which looks a whole lot better. Still there. I think it took about 10 days to go away last time. I don't know if I can show it to you, but you can see it's it's better. Still there, but it's a lot better. It's not raised and it's not all shiny from putting uh, hydrocortisone cream on it. I think I'm going to pull through this one. My glasses are dirty. Got some smum uh, mudges on it. Some, some smum uh, mudges on my glasses. I did get um, a couple things in the m -m mail this morning. I've had coffee and uh, half of a white monster. The first person I want to thank. Thank you for the people who invented monster. I like the sugar-free white ones and the... Uh, the sugar-free blues and purples, they're great. That's my big luxury in life, especially if it's a cold monster. Today, it's a warm monster because I bought a four-pack. Are you guys writing this down? <laughs> and I already had it in my truck. It's about 11 a.m. I'm recording this. Seagulls are happy. They're all uh, hooking up. All I have to do is roll down my window to get an airflow, and the seagulls come. I haven't spotted Eugene. I did spot a Eugene imposter. Um, so that was fun. I did get some things in the mail. First thing I opened today was uh, an Amazon gift card from my friend RK Matt. Matt, thank you very much. Matt has sent gifts before. And uh, I've got to meet him twice, Matt. Have we met twice? And uh, Matt's a good guy. So, Matt, thank you very much. I put that on my account, and I will uh, probably use it to buy some uh, propane. Uh, there's things I don't mind having too much of, and propane, not propane, what do I use? Butane. So, thank you very much, Matt. That was very kind of you. Screaming goat for Matt. And I also want to thank... The best grandparents in the world, next to my Nana, of course. Uh, my friends Tracy and Leah. Uh, Tracy posted on his channel this morning. His granddaughter Alexis uh, did a uh, a short video of her opening up a uh, a ration like a MRE for breakfast, and uh, she mentions my name at the beginning. And Alexis is my special friend. And uh, I love Tracy and Leah's family, their extended family. Really, really nice people. So thank you guys. So for all the Phillips and all the Bates out there, <laughs> thank you guys. That made my day. I also got uh, three things in one package from Amazon. And the first one is lens wipes, lens cleaning cloths. What are, what are they called? They're called lens wipes, yeah. And I, I go through a lot of these between my dirty eyeglasses and mostly I use them on my iPhone, uh, which is my only device. I use that uh, to film and edit. And uh, right before I shoot, I got greasy boondocking fingers all the time. So thank you very much. That is from Barbara, by the way. So thank you, Barbara. Uh, it arrived. That is very kind of you, but there's, but wait, there's more. Uh, let's, I'm going to save this for the last, see if I can reach stuff without knocking the camera around too much. Barbara sent me, um, what are these called? Zippered waterproof pillow protectors. And these are gold, Barbara. Thank you very much. Um, I have a plan for my pillows. I'm going to, uh, spray my pillows with bleach my one pillow is an expensive pillow and 
it had a little bit of mold on it and uh, I mean like a little trace of mold and I used bleach to get rid of it but I think I want to lightly spray the whole pillow this is boondocking problems guys um, put it out in the sun spray it with the bleach let it dry do both sides both pillows and then when I'm absolutely 100% sure they're as dry as they're going to get I will put them in the uh, pillow protectors so thank you very much Barbara those are awesome and we also got this cool thing and what really impresses me about this this is like real leather it's like soft I mean this feels like the leather that you, that they use at the King Ranch saddle shop in Kingsville Texas but what this is is a sharpening stone and I haven't taken it out of the plastic yet, obviously. But um, it's specifically made for uh, axes and hatchets. But I have several, you know, my knives and all. I can use that. So that is awesome, Barbara. Thank you uh, very much, friend. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to touchy-feely this thing when uh, whenever I get too bored. <coughs> Thank you, Barbara. That is very kind of you. I also got a joke from uh, Raccoon Little Bear. What's red and bad for your teeth? A brick. <laughs> Thank you, Raccoon Little Bear. Uh, Raccoon Little Bear is the one that sends me a, a Boondocker of the Year certificate every year. And I think it'd be funny this year, buddy, if I came in like fourth place, just to give me a little motivation, you know, you can, you can give it to some of the other boondockers and then I'll, I'll be, I'll be genuinely pissed and try harder next year. They say the sun is going to come out around four o'clock, but it has poked its head out uh, at moments throughout the day. But I just wanted to uh, check in with you guys. I want to make sure I thank the people properly who uh, sent me things. I've uh, been able to watch some uh, videos this morning. Rusty78609. <coughs> Rusty's a good dude. Uh, his comment calls every day. He like promotes three or four other channels, uh, smaller channels like us that... Um, you know, every time he mentions us, we, we all get new subscribers. And uh, thank you, Rusty. And I, I wanted to thank my friend Jamie Macon. I got a uh, very nice subscriber named Holly uh, that uh, said came from your channel. So thank you, Jamie. And I watched some uh, Tommy Rants RV. Good morning, Tom. Who else did I watch today? Uh, story time with Uncle Bill. I, I I like Bill's videos. I particularly like Bill will go to the beach and find things that washed up on the beach or just get out in the yard and find a turtle or a frog or things like that. And I, I don't know. I like it. I like it. He's he's a grown man, but when it comes to stuff like that, he has a, a, a childlike demeanor, you know, where you can appreciate and you get excited when you find a frog or a tortoise or a turtle. So uh, thanks, Bill. Thanks for all the entertaining videos. <coughs> and uh, like I said, I, I watched the, uh, on the Tracy Phillips channel, I, I watched that um, video from my friend Alexis. And that uh, video is also on my community page. If uh, you go over and check it out and uh, give uh, Tracy uh, some subscriptions subscribe to his channel if you can uh, he's a good guy all these channels I mentioned guys uh, in the description of this video there's a there's there are links of all the channels I watch and I, I feel like I've I watched more videos this morning because I've been up for a while and uh, I let them roll while I'm uh, doing stuff and right, right, right where the camera is right now that's where I set up the camera where I watch TV, because not only will I have this hand free, I will have this hand free. And uh, 
Maybe I'll even uh, get the dirt out from under my fingernails today. I'm going to have to go to a swimming pool just to get the dirt out from under my fingers. Shower, shower's not doing it. Washing my hands several times a day is not doing it. Trimming my nails. Here comes something. Is that a boat? Is that a boat or a plane? It's flying pretty low. That is a plane. That's not a Navy plane and it's not a Coast Guard plane. It's a private little, uh, one of those little cars with wings, you know? <laughs> the, the kind of plane that Buddy Holly got in. He's not going to tell a Buddy Holly joke, is he? It's too soon. No, I'm not. But yeah, it's about the size of uh, the plane that Buddy Holly died in, which is not called American Pie. I thought so for 20 years. It's, it's not. It's sad. The plane that Buddy Holly died in doesn't have a name. It has a series of numbers. And for a long time, I knew those numbers. And at the moment, if you give me 10 guesses, I'll, I'll, I'll get the number. Because there's only 10 digits. Yeah, so we can figure that out. Uh, I had a really good time in Port Aransas. Um, I'm amazed that people are camping overnight on the beach with the water coming up to the dunes. They're looking for high ground, but I just wouldn't want to be woken up in the middle of the night and my truck surrounded by water, or if I was in a tent surrounded by ocean water. I, I really think if you do that, you're underestimating the power of the ocean. Shut up, Kevin. Kevin, Kevin, you're on a 10. I need you at about a four. That's good. You're good right there. I have uh, three, four grackles and five seagulls keeping me company today. And it's only Kevin running his big beak. Kevin, go get a girlfriend. Don't be a Johnny Petroglia. Go get a woman in your life. I'll, I'll be right with you guys. I'm sorry, that was low. I shouldn't have compared you to Johnny Petroglia. You actually have a purpose in life, Kevin. I went too far with that Johnny Petroglia joke. <laughs> oh, someone else is joining me on the circle today. Over at Rockport, it's the um, market days is today. They were setting up yesterday and it's pretty crowded down there. So if you've never been to market days, uh, there's food vendors over there and all kinds of stuff, pony rides, clothing, jewelry. I made one video from there and then I went back like a year later and it was the exact same stuff. And then I w went back two years after that and it's, it's the exact same stuff. So I could just keep reposting that video once a month and tell you guys I went to market days. You're, you're not going to miss anything. <laughs> I've been keeping my batteries charged. I'm doing okay. Everything, everything going to be all right this morning. Kevin, hush it. Oh, yeah. Harmonic in my hand the whole time. play you the blues version of old mcdonald had a farm because that's uh hold on and then uh, the blues version would be i think i like the original version better i think i'm just rambling now guys i hope you have a great sunday I've been in, back in Rockport for one day. I think I want to go to, what do you think? I want to go to Corpus Christi? Then you can hear me complain about how much I hate traffic and big cities. All right, let's do that. Thanks for sitting along with me today, guys.
There goes a guy on a wave runner. That looks like fun. Thanks for watching.